Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make your screen into something like this. This is a quick tutorial for beginners who want to learn about 3D camera tracking. So first, you need a shot of your device with the screen turned on so that we can track it. Make sure that the image on the screen has a great contrast so that it can easily be tracked. Once you have that, go ahead and open After Effects. Create a new project and a new composition. Drag the video you shot onto the project files, then drag that onto the timeline. Apply the Mocha AE effect onto the clip, then click the Mocha logo on the effects control panel. Once you're here, make sure that you are at the beginning of your timeline, then, using the pen like tool, draw a detailed shape around your screen. Once you're done with that, open the properties window if it's not open yet, then make sure that the perspective checkbox is marked. After which, click this button for Mocha to automatically track your screen for the entire shot. It'll take quite a while, so be patient. After tracking, click the Save button and you can close the window. Duplicate your layer using Command D on Mac and Control D on Windows. Select the upper layer and open up the drop down format on the Mocha AE effect. Then click Create AE Mask so that it masks your layer into just the screen, which you can see if you disable the lower layer. Pretty cool. I'm going to adjust my sequence settings so that the timeline is only 5 seconds long. Now, right click the mask layer or the one on top, then click Precompose. Select Move All Attributes, then click OK. Now, we can track the 3D perspective of the screen. Go back to the main composition. Select the pre-composed layer and go to the tracker panel. Hit track camera and it will automatically analyze the 3D movement of the screen. Once it's done analyzing, you're gonna have these dots on the screen. Go ahead and right click in the middle of the screen and select create solid and camera. Now, what this does is it adds a 2D plane on the screen and follows it around for the entire shot. Let's change the color of the solid using the change to color effect so it's black to mimic a screen that's off. After which we have to make the solid bigger such that it covers the entire screen. It's better to make it so big that it's even bigger than the device itself. Now what we're gonna do is add a mask onto that solid using the pen tool. First, select the solid layer, then disable it. Then, while the solid layer is still selected, use the pen tool to draw a detailed mask around the screen. Now, once you enable the layer again, you're gonna have a black solid follow your screen around, making it look like it's off. However, it will have a few inconsistencies, so we're going to have to cover that up with the mask expansion. Go to your solid layer, Drop down to the mask, then select Mask Expansion, and increase it by just a bit. What this does is it makes your mask larger, in turn making the black solid bigger to make up for the inconsistencies. Play back the entire video to check if the mask expansion is enough. Now we're actually done with the hard part and now entering the fun part. What I'm going to do now is duplicate the solid layer, make it a little smaller, and also rename it. I'm going to add a stroke effect on that solid 
and make the stroke brush size around 6 pixels. So that's gonna add a line on the screen and follows it around. What I want to do now is make it look like a hologram. To do that, we first have to add a solid composite effect on the layer and make that solid composite's color to black. Then, I'll add a custom glow effect which you can download in the link below. You might not see a glow on the line at first, but just raise the glow intensity on the effect controls panel until you've gotten a decent glow. After all that, set the blend mode of that layer to screen so that all the black will be removed and now it will look like a hologram line. I'm now going to animate the opacity of that layer using keyframes so that it goes from dim to light like this. Next, I'm going to duplicate the layer once and animate the position so that it creates a 3D hologram effect. I'm going to do that once more for a third hologram line. I'm also going to make the keyframes ease in so that the animations are smoother. Now I'm going to add text. Go back to the pre-composed layer and select the 3D camera tracker effect on the effect controls panel to show the dots again. Right click in the middle of the screen and click create text. This will add a text object float around following your screen's movement. Now remember, we are dealing with 3D space so the text layer's position must be above the base black solid layer so that you can see it. To fix its orientation, go ahead in the transform dropdown and play around with the position and rotations value. You can also change the text contained using the text tool. After that, make sure that the anchor point position is in the middle of your text. That's important for the next part to work. Now, I'm going to animate the text appearing. To do that, I animate the keyframes of the scale from 0 to about 2500%. But yours will depend on how big or small you want the text to be. The anchor point position is important because that's where the text will actually come from as it becomes bigger. So we want that in the middle of the screen. Now, I'm going to add a glow effect on the text just like how we did it a while ago. But now, I'll change the glow color to blue like the text. I'm also now going to turn on motion blur for all the 3D layers so that they look less artificial. And that's about it. You can go ahead and play with the keyframes, create more objects, animate them all, change the positions, opacities, the possibilities are endless. For the sake of this video, I'm going to add an animation that closes the hologram. Once you're done, export the video and you'll have a nice hologram screen effect. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this and share it to your friends who want to become editors but are also too lazy to do so. Bye!